<laughs> hey, let me give a shout out this morning to Cross Point Church. I just saw our yes. good buddy Johnny Lee Dees. They are in their new sanctuary, 915 this Sunday. Yep. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. On South Hughes Road. Brand new. <laughs> Jim Connor, good yeah, to see you, right. man. Don't hit Tom with that old yeah, knock and I'm for it. <laughs> I was just telling him, like, to knock John Hartford out one night in a concert out in San Diego. I turned this way, he turned that way, bam, you know. Now, that banjo went missing in 1971. Went missing. It was uh, custom made for me by Vega in 69. I could not afford it if they had not given us a tremendous discount because the Kings and Trio endorsed Vega, and it was stolen in 71. In New York City. In New York City. New York City. <laughs> New York City. Oh. And 2005. You got to get into this. 2005. I like it. Came up on eBay, and one of my students from uh, from Texas, actually, he had moved out there, called me, and he said, "Your banjo's on eBay." And I said, "No, it's not. It's sitting right here by the piano." He said, "No, the one that was stolen in '71." I said, "Austin, you're not. You weren't even born then. You never saw it." And he said, "But it has the little leaves that you always." draw with a magic marker on and I said really and there it was One. and I got wow. it back miracle miracle had to buy it back well I had to pay legal charges uh, to get it back but it was mine but uh, to, to get it out of uh, uh, Bronx New York yeah. down to uh, uh, Alabama and all this got to say officially then New York City <laughs> New <laughs> York City <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was some legal charges, but uh, <laughs> my publisher paid the legal charges. Again, with the bill, they bill me later. But yeah, you got it back. Got it back. <laughs> hey, a couple of things going on. Did y'all hear about the town up near Nashville that was formerly known as Tim Sharp Mayor of the town of 1800, formerly known as Lake Cities Act, confirmed the vote. They are changing their name to Rocky Top, Tennessee. Oh, oh my God. I won't be going to Hit it, Jim. What? <laughs> oh, Rocky Top, Rocky Top, oh, Rocky Top, and the sea. Okay. Now, the people that wrote the song and owned the rights to the song sued the city. Oh, really? Because they didn't want them using it. They didn't want them using it. Well, anyway, they probably lost. Yeah, that song is usually no. banned in the studio. <laughs> it will be worse if they beat us up there. They come up later on. All right, y'all heard about the Corvette Museum? Y'all may have been to something on 65. The Cinco, call all the name. Yeah. Attendance has been a uh, 60% since that happened. So now they have a group. They're going to leave the Cinco as part of the show record. Hmm. How about that? Sixty percent. So I'm thinking about having something happen in here <laughs> to cause a big hole in the studio. No. All right, Zach, beat that one. Hey, uh, Ardmore, Joe Smith, a lot of people might remember him back in the 80s. He played for Vanderbilt, and he was all excited about Vandy finally winning a championship in baseball. So congratulations again to Vandy. Uh, Andrew Wiggins was a uh, number one player picked in the NBA draft team by Karis. Interesting, that's the second Canadian in a row to get picked. And I got a one that's going to kind of get you, Jamie. Who do you think would be the number one player voted ever in the shows? In the shows? From the shows area, who's the number one athlete? Hmm. Ozzie Newsom. Ozzie Newsom. Ozzie. Ozzie. You know who was number two? Well, I did Dr. Melson get it right? Yeah, he got so it. So you consider leading part of the show? Yeah. Yeah, that show is area. Josh Willingham. You know who was number two, Jamie? Josh Willingham. No, your old buddy. <laughs> Harlan Hill. Har Harlan. Harlan yeah. Hill was second. Harlan. Dang it. I thought, uh, how did they had the eight Harlan? finalists. They didn't tell the eight, but I got breaking news for you. New Hope did a vote. You tied with Howard Cross for New Hope's favorite athlete. Uh. No, they would never have voted for me to be an athlete in New Hope. <laughs> Where did you? <laughs> Maybe well best known, but who ran that survey, Zach? Yeah, who ran Thank that? You for that compliment. <laughs> I was trying to, but I was trying to pump you up this yeah, morning. Well, you dropped the ball, Zach. I don't think. Shut up! Does everybody's brother have to bring that up? <laughs> Just, I was going for a touchdown on the last play of the game. It was zero to zero. It was like a 80 yards. You were not running. And then I get that on about the 10 yard line and I make a mistake of looking behind me. Uh, <laughs> this guy was about to smother me. <laughs> Accidentally, Tom. Ac I didn't have that glue on my hands, basically what happened. <laughs> I probably sweat so much. Like, okay, I'm about to be the hero of the game. How'd that go, Frank? Not too good. Not too good, right. I dropped the ball. Uh, uh, of course, yeah, it was. <laughs>
Shut up, Tim. Well, it that's was. Good. That's as good as the ear story. <laughs> well, <we can> <laughs> and every time I see my favorite teacher, he's 87 years old, he brings that up. Did you hear Tim? What? That was as good. That's as good as the ear story. Yeah. <laughs> now, Zach, I've got a question for anybody in this room. Oh, boy. What one mascot is the only one ever, or what not ever now, but was the first mascot ever in college football to get a 15 yard penalty? Big Al. Nope. <laughs> eagle. <laughs> the, the eagle yeah. named Tiger in, in uh, 1970-something flew down and hit a guy scoring a touchdown on the side of the face, <laughs> according to Sports oh, wow. Illustrated. And they fried him up that Thank afternoon you. at Off the Grill out on Highway 90. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they had a carjack, and I think it was in Seattle. A 70 year old woman gets her carjacked by some teenagers. Mm -hmm. Teenagers got in the car, it was a straight shift, couldn't let them drive it, they all got out and took off running. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> all right, Zach, what else you got? You ready for some words, Wiz? Yeah, go ahead and lay it on. We all, all use right. them up here this morning. All right. Listen, pay attention, Mr. Connor. Hey, close some doors to your past so you can open bright, better, brighter doors to your future. <laughs> Too late, I lost it. <laughs> okay, some no people doubt. make your laugh a little louder, some smile a little brighter, and your life a little better. They're the ones worth hanging on to. Right. Mm. Hang on them kind of people, Johnny. Now have a good weekend. All right, see you, Zach. No see yard sales this weekend. No what yard are, sales. Any yard get out and ride a bicycle. I mean, you, Dr. Bell, you look like you in tip-top shape. You've been a while walking. Not a long, long time. And Tom, you look like you need to exercise some. No, I, I do it every night. They get that new sidewalk in in front of our house, we're going to be able to ride all the way up to Vito. I yeah. don't know where that is. Actually, uh, that may be one I need to go to. Well, Vito yeah. is the there north is. of uh, Elkmont. That trail that goes up there and ends. I've been right there. Tennessee. Okay. Be a nice trail. A woman was biking by herself. I think this was actually in Seattle. Was biking by herself and she was going a little fast. She saw this gaggle of geese. How smart I am. Gaggle, Gaggle of geese. Oh As she was going, the goose didn't like it. Flies into her, Dr. Tim. Wow. Knocks her unconscious. Wow. She must have hit the. Hey, good. Look. Look at her. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. In case you don't know, geese can go. <laughs> can be talking? very harmful, as Gloria well knows. You know, we, we were doing a story, and let me tell you how brave he is. He's so afraid of these animals. So we're going by there. And I'm metrosexual, I tell you. I got, I'm a concrete camel. right by us, he pushes me in front of it. I'm scared of them things. I'm like, you chicken. See, see, you shook my hand this morning. Why? Yes, ma'am. Why did you do that this morning when you came in? <laughs> because I know who you're married to, and I'm praying for you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim, you're playing in Huntsville. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, uh, Chapman James is a friend of mine. Real name is Buddy Polemus. And we did some work. Uh, he used to be a ballet master. He did my ballet years ago. He's in Huntsville now. And he said, hey, come up and play. I know this uh, theater, Renaissance Theater. Yeah. Small theater, less than 100 people. And he says, it's beautiful. Let's do a concert. And it's for the benefit of the theatrical uh, uh, efforts that they give there. And um, so I said, okay. And we're doing a show to, uh, tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, the Renaissance. You're the headliner. I'm the headliner. And uh, so uh, Chapman James and his buddy uh, will open the show and we'll do it. Right. Seven o'clock. We're going to get you to entertain a lot in the second half. We're going to talk to Dr. Tim Melton, state Senate candidate right here in this area. And we're going to go over to the kitchen where we have J.D. Sauces lined Yay. up. Plus, talk Hungry. about Mar McNair, new location over on County Line Road. All y'all coming y'all's way in the next half hour. Y'all hang on. Look on the lovely.